This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officer at six o'clock. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office, upstairs. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. Home sweet home. Mm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. in here. What? Claire Brown went missing on a snowmobile trip? Yeah. I thought you were still here when it happened. I don't remember. Tyler, you coming? Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. Something's in the way. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay?
You sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh huh. Those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. You okay? I'm just feeling a little nauseous. How is it still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly? No. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well... Maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? Wow. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vase. Here. Have a seat. All right. Sorry. Huh, they kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too.
we're just gonna sit down in here, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. You're awfully quiet. Yeah, sorry. I'm trying to deal, but a lot. So, isn't Brown waiting for us? We should head back to his office. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> Good to be back. And just look at you, a man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you, how you work with those kids at Fireweed. I would say children of the future. <laughs> I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah, not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh yeah? Did she mention anything about us that might have been about Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help us, or are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? No. Fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie?
Eddie was just doing his best to protect me. To protect his family. I thought I was your family. You are. Seven years apart didn't change that. Ten years apart didn't either. But Eddie's family too. Look, we've all fucked up. We've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I... I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. Send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay. Let's go. I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No. Please. Please. Mom, no. Mom, please. No, don't do it. So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. 